Okay, good morning. Thank you for coming. Thank you for being on time. Today, we, as usual, are going to watch segments from two videos about the digital app of this period of the semester, which is Evernote. Then we'll finally engage in some hands-on by working on the creation of a test page, an experimental page in Evernote during the class. In fact, I'm going to ask you that once you have completed this activity before you leave the classroom, you share with me the link to the page that you have created in class. But this time, during the exercise of the creation of the page, I'm going to ask you not, not only to raise your hand and ask for questions, ask for help, but if you want to, if you feel comfortable enough, you can call me to your seat, show me the screen and ask me how to do something or show me something that you have done. Before the videos, I'm going to review one more time the specific instructions that I added on Wednesday to the digital assignment on Evernote. This time I put them in writing. I also changed the date, giving you a little more time, half a week more, because I introduced those details, those specific requirements later than usual. And finally, before we start, I just want to tell you that in reference to the last assignment that was due last Friday, the Google Me This text about textual assignment, I'm still working on it. I still have uh, between 15 and 20 of the assignments that I need to go through. So you should expect to see my comments either later today or by Monday at the latest, okay? The instructions for the Evernote assignment are found at the end of week six. As you see here, I changed the deadline to March 9th, which I believe is a Wednesday. And here are the instructions in writing that I offered at the beginning of Wednesday's class. So, first step, find a YouTube video on Evernote. It could be just on Evernote, or since we've also discussed the features and the uses of Notion, you could pick one of the many videos that can be found, especially from last year, where someone is comparing Notion and Evernote in terms of functionality, features, or explaining, this has become a niche genre, explaining why they moved from Evernote to Notion or vice versa, why they moved from Notion back to Evernote or to Evernote for the first time. The video must be at least four minutes long. In class I said at least seven minutes, but then I checked the filter with YouTube and the filters are between one and four minutes, between four and 20 minutes, about 20 minutes if you want to use the filter to your advantage. So I, I specified four minutes, although again, ideally it should be a little longer than four minutes, something like seven to 10 minutes. But anything about four minutes, four minutes or longer will do. It's important that the video be not older than 2020. That's how far back in the past you can go because otherwise you would be discussing in the assignment features that belong to the previous version of Evernote. So 2020 is the limit. Actually, I would recommend that you select something from 2021 or 2022. 
it cannot be just a tutorial. It cannot be just how to do something with step-by-step -step instructions and visual demonstration. It has to be a video that might focus on some techniques or features, but the video itself, you see that it includes commentary. It talks about the philosophy of the app. It talks about how the app is structured or what the best approach by the user should be. So it goes beyond the mere details, technical details or the technicalities. Once you found that video, don't do much work on it. Once you found a video that seems to be good enough to work with, you need to share the title, the author, the date, and the YouTube link with me via email. Please specify CCS395 colon Evernote in the subject heading. And I will respond as soon as possible telling you, yes, you can proceed with this video or no, somebody else is working on, another, on this video already because we want to create a small wiki about the Evernote experience where every student in the class works on a different video. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a proper wiki. What I will do, of course, is to create a page. I'll link it inside the instructions. On this page, as soon as I receive your pics of a video, I will place the title of the video and the link there in alphabetical order by title so that before you proceed with the selection, you can check if someone has already picked that video. But either way, I will tell you, once you send me just the title of the video and the link, I'll tell you, yes, go ahead, or please choose another because this has been chosen already. And I'm saying this because of course, you know how YouTube works, right? It's like Google, once you put Evernote more or less the same choices will appear. 80% of the same choices will appear in front of everyone's eyes in this class. So it's important to make sure your selection is unique. Once you've received authorization to proceed before the deadline, this is what you have to do and this is how you will structure and fill with content your assignment. So you, of course, you need the free plan to Evernote, or it's your choice if you want to subscribe for a few months to any of the other plans, but you don't need to do that for the assignment. You would need to do that for your final project if you want to use Evernote for your final project. So you create your own Evernote page for this and you send a shareable link to me. You set it to shareable link. I'll show you how I've showed that on Wednesday, but I'll show that again Wednesday of next week. You give the page, the Evernote page or note, the title, the same title of the YouTube video. You proceed with the embedding of the video in the first section of the page and the first section will have a title using the heading formatting of Evernote call it something like video about Evernote and then this time don't repeat the title of the video come up with a title that is shorter but reflective of the most important things you found in that video. So wait until the end before you give it a title to this first section. Your page needs to include the following sections with pertinent material about each section, a short summary of the video, short summary, three to five lines, six lines. Of course, it depends on how long your video is. If you choose a video that is 20 minutes, you might need 10 lines, but it doesn't have to be long if not needed. The next section should be key quotes, where you actually quote short passages from the video because you find that the language captures either the core qualities of the app 
or the essence of a trick or technique or the philosophy behind the use of a function of a feature. The next section should be tips and tricks. If you have a video where you have tips and tricks, then just summarize some of the things that you found useful, but otherwise I'll write if appropriate. Otherwise, if the video is just about the general philosophy of use or the user experience, it might be someone who explains what they do with Evernote in their note-taking process or in the process of storing relevant information about their life, right? So it could be tips and tricks, if that's appropriate for your video. Otherwise, depending on the nature of the video, feel free to rename this section to user experience, not taken, whatever fits the actual video you've chosen. Analysis, I've given it this presumptuous name, but it's really a conclusion where you bring in some reflection, where you reflect on what you've seen in the video and how it connects to the nature of this app or knowledge and projects that entertain, entail the handling, the storing, the accessing of knowledge of any kind. Even note taking is about knowledge, right? Even archiving receipts, tasks, etc., is collaterally about knowledge, okay? So this is the list of instructions. And again, I'll discuss this once more during the next week and I will answer any questions. Let me go back to today's plan. I posted, as usual, a series of videos. I recommend that you watch all of them. It's not a requirement, just to further your understanding of the app. And again, you will see that some of these videos don't have a huge amount of views, simply because I gave my preference to current videos on Evernote. As I mentioned, on Wednesday, at this point, Evernote releases updates every two weeks or so, and some of them are still major updates. So it's important from my point of view to show something that is as current as possible, as opposed to some of the more popular videos on Evernote, which you feel free to include in your project, in your assignment on Evernote. So you find in here one video under 1A about the Evernote Clipper, which is one of the key elements of Evernote's success. And then you find under B and C two videos on how to search in Evernote. And they're useful. I'll show one now. But Keep in mind, if you work on a digital project, term project on Evernote, to include advanced ser searching techniques, to include saved searches are essential aspects if you want your project to have a good grade. And how to manage project with Evernote is very specific and uh, it, it focuses more on the commercial use for commercial productivity of the app, yet it's interesting in general for the kind of approach you can develop to enhance the experience of using Evernote, okay? So let's watch, let's start with, let's start with a clipper. Let me take you into my new demo account of Evernote 
and Web Clipper and show you everything you need to know about using the amazing Evernote Web Clipper. And let's go to another video about search and then we'll engage in the hands-on activity. This is about search. In my opinion, it's really hard to lose information in Evernote. If you know just a tiny little bit of the title of something you have in the note, you'll be able to find it. And today I'll show you several ways to search and find information in Evernote. Okay. Keep in mind, that some of the features you saw, such as Boolean searches, the option of creating and having a home page with widgets, are only included in the paid subscriptions, which is why, as I said before, for the digital assignment on Evernote, all you need is the free plan. But if you're planning to create something strong and convincing for your digital project using Evernote, then you should opt for the monthly subscription and subscribe for two or three months, depending on when you start your project, March, April, and May, or just April and May. And uh, it won't be very expensive altogether. Now, as I said before, let's try, so, if you already have a subscription with Evernote, log into Evernote, the desktop app. That would be my default choice. For Notion, my default choice is using Notion inside the browser. For Evernote, my default choice based on the interface, the smoothness of the functions is the app, whether it be the iOS app on my iPad, the Android app, on my Pixel 6 Pro or the Windows app on my main computer. Regardless, feel free to use the app right now or the browser, log into your Note, Evernote account and create a new page and experiment with some of the things that we saw in class, not necessarily today, but mostly during my demo on Wednesday. And while we are doing that, you can call me to your desk, to your seat, or just raise your question and ask a question so that we can all become familiar with the process of creating, organizing, formatting a page in Evernote. Try to embed a video, any video. This page has nothing to do with the assignment. It's just a test, just a sandbox, a playground and try to embed PDFs or other documents. Again, the disclaimer is that I don't remember what can be done with the free plan. So I'm suggesting you try as many features as possible. And then later, either today or next week, we can discuss the limits that you found to the free plan, the things that you are not able to embed successfully, for example. Try to add links, images, etc., etc. Before the end of the class, shoot me an email at andrea.fedi at stonybrook.dt.edu with CCS 395 colon Evernote as the heading and include a shareable link of the page you worked on today, okay? We have 15 minutes for this, which is sufficient for the kind of experimenting uh, that we can do with an app, an, an app as simple as Evernote. Although, as you've seen, Evernote looks deceivingly simple, but uh, an advanced user can do a lot of interesting things with it. Okay, so go ahead. If you don't have an Evernote account yet, just go to Evernote.com and sign in, log in, register for the free account right away and start working. If you want to install the Web Clipper, please do so and then try importing into your Evernote account some content that you can reformat, revise, expand, uh, etc. 
if you feel comfortable working with someone sitting next to you, feel free to do the same. Include your name in the page that you send my way or the names of the two people who worked together on this, okay?